played extremely hard. I thought we had some opportunities in the second half when things weren't going our way to really hang our heads and feel sorry for ourselves and give in, but our kids didn't. They played extremely aggressively down the, down the stretch and made things happen and, and fought to get themselves back in the game after digging themselves a hole and finally started to shoot the ball well late in the game. I think it's, it's tough for us really because when we've, we did an incredible job defensively at, at uh, Butler, but just really struggled to score. You know, and, and in IUPUI, we struggled, um, we struggled on both ends of it a little bit, but our offense was a lot, we scored at a pretty efficient clip, but then our defense kind of broke down. So for us, it's a matter, we have to play, we have to play so well on every possession that, that the urgency we have to play with is, is at a very, very high level. And when we do that defensively, and we turn them over. I mean, if you look at a stat sheet in a lot of ways, you know, we, our kids put themselves in a position to win this game. Um, you know, we, we had a lot, we got some offensive rebounds, we took care of the ball, we turned them over, you know, and yeah, unfortunately we got to the free throw line, but unfortunately we didn't have enough firepower to win. I thought in the first half we had wide open shots. I did. I thought they packed it in the lane for the most part, and we got wide open shots, and they just didn't fall. I thought in, uh, and then we got the ball inside of Mel Doss and for some one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and unfortunately tonight they didn't fall. You know, so I don't know that I, I, I was displeased with the shots that we were taking. I thought they were very makeable shots for us. You know, I just unfortunately, for whatever reason, they didn't go in. They just didn't until later in the game when we were down and then all of a sudden they started to, it became a little bit contagious to make a couple and all of a sudden they start to really feel confident and go in. And so for us, you know, our, our kids put themselves in a position to come back and I was really proud of that. You know, our non-conference schedule is very tough. Ball State finished second in their league last year and, and they're a very good team. And last year to beat them at their place, we shot the ball extremely well. You know, so to, to say we didn't shoot it well and we were in the game must mean that we're that our kids are doing some things that are that are good. And I think it's going to prepare us for our conference play that comes up pretty soon. Can you well, we were we told our kids that we were going to take whatever we, we got at that point in time. We didn't need a three. I think you see a lot of teams, we're down three, and you see a lot of teams just settle to take a bad three. And we said, no, you get to the rim and you get